Hi, it's Bill Weemuth from HistoryHighlights.com, hoping you're having a great day on this wonderful July the 28th. Today, another wonderful feature from the Library of Congress. And part of the reason why I love studying and doing these is coming across new subjects that I've never heard anything about. And this is one called the Bonus Army. What a fascinating story as it echoes through our modern history. In the summer of 1932, protesters known as the Bonus Army or Bonus Expeditionary Forces had gathered in the nation's capital to demand an immediate lump sum payment of pension funds, benefits, for their military service during World War I. On July 28th of 1932, they were confronted by federal troops, cavalry, machine gunners, infantry, following President Herbert Hoover's orders to evacuate. Now, Congress had approved the payment back in 1924, but the bonus was not payable until 1945. And the presence of the Bonus Army was a continuing embarrassment and source of difficulty for President Hoover. He sent in troops under the command of Brigadier General Perry L. Miles and General Douglas MacArthur. The veterans faced tear gas bombs, bayonets, tanks, riots erupted, and finally the veterans eventually disbanded. Suffering from the economic devastation of the Great Depression, Veterans began assembling nationwide in March for their journey to the nationwide, nation's capital. Estimates for the Bonus Army range widely, from a low of about 20,000 up to a high of about 65,000 people, including their families, by the summer of 1932. The veterans made their presence known to Congress, lobbying for payment and marching up and down Pennsylvania Avenue. They camped out in shacks and tents along the Anacostia River, and health officials worried about the threat of disease. A second bonus army came to Washington in May of 1933 to appeal to the new administration of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. This time they were greeted by First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, although the bonus pay legislation was again defeated in Congress. The Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC, was authorized for 25,000 jobs for veterans. And Congress eventually passed a bill authorizing early payment of the veterans' benefits in 1936 over Roosevelt's third veto. And the Bonus Army paved the way for the GI Bill of Rights. Another bizarre and fascinating chapter of history for you today. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sending you out all of my best. Hold on to each other. Take care. Get out. Stretch your legs. Get some exercise. Breathe some fresh air. Sit on the balcony or the deck. Whatever you've got. Soak in the sun and uh, make the most of it. Life is precious and I'm so glad that you are sharing this journey of discovery through the fascinating tales of history with me. Lots more over at HistoryHighlights.com. We'd be honored for you to support any of our programs. Join our membership group with lots of extra videos and benefits. And of course, uh, all kinds of ebooks, paperback books, audiobooks, and video presentations. Have a great day, folks, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.